So tell me about the day Brad Rivers came to town. I don't know where he came from. Um, out of town, <laughs> obviously. I, I hear he was here for personal business. I, I really don't know for sure myself. But uh, for sure we're glad he showed up. They say he was a farm boy, uh, a cowboy of sorts. I don't know, maybe it was just because he wore the hat. Well, you know, he moved into old Margie's house, uh, you know, right, right, right there next to Michelle. Uh, those two seemed to hit it off just fine. Let me tell you, I thought that there was something going on there, but apparently it's not sexual. Her? No way. She doesn't have time for a man. She's too busy with her woodworking. She's always got some project going on. Plus, I'm not really sure she's even on that team. Anyway, I don't, I don't think he wanted to stay in that old house, so he was always over at Michelle McDugan's. We're such gossips. You always got something to say, but we don't like to talk too much about each other. Uh, trying to keep to ourselves, sort of. Uh, not that that's really relevant. I'm really sorry to hear you're here under such sad circumstances. Oh, no, no, don't worry about me. I'll be okay. Are you going to have anyone at the funeral? Do you want a little company? Uh, no, I'd rather go alone. You know, um, when my dad died, I thought I wanted to go alone too. But my cousin was at the funeral and it was really nice having somebody there. What is, what is this? Oh, this guy. This slimy son of a biscuit wants to get everybody to move out of town so he can build some highway or something. For you. Tomorrow is today. Let my company help build your finances through lucrative financial deals. Speak with one of our representatives to learn about these opportunities and how we're paving the way into the 22nd century. Call 1-800-555-1234. Chadwick Industries, my way and the highway. What was your opinion of Charles Chadwick? We weren't his biggest fans, let's, let's put it there. He was trying to buy us all off to build a highway through town. You know, my mom raised me here. I'm raising my kids here. I want my grandchildren to live here as well. And Chadwick, he was going to take it all away. Someone's got to stop that guy. Oh, make some run. I know. How are we going to stop him? Can I help you? Hi there, ma'am. I'd like to talk to you about my proposition. Is the man of the house available? There's no man. You can talk to me. Well, then. Perhaps we could take this conversation inside. I know who you are, and I know what you're here for, and I'm not going to sign anything. I promise I'll be quick. Excuse me, mister. I think it's time you left. Ah, hello, my good sir. My name's Charles. I'm here to talk to you about your house. This isn't my house, and this isn't my town. But I know who you are, and you need to leave. Take your business somewhere else. People don't want you here. Well, sir, you can't make an informed decision without a little bit of information. No. But... Well, he was a pushy fellow, I'll tell you that much. Real pushy. Some people signed just to get him off of their lawn. And a lot of people didn't think they had any choice. But the catch was that he needed everyone's signatures. He couldn't do it without everybody. Or at least that's what we thought. Some people were getting real angry. Hello? Hey, pretty girl. Your daddy home? Dad! Yes, can I help you? Hello, sir. Charles Chadwick. You can call me Chuck. Hi, uh, Chuck. Uh, what can I do for you? I got a little uh, business proposition here hey. for you. Well, hello. I thought I told you to leave these people alone. Is this man bothering you? Um, not really. You need to leave right now. You know it's rude to interrupt. No, no, it's time that you go. This isn't the Wild West where you can tear people's homes down and build your railroad. You know, I think you should go. I was just talking to this nice man about a business proposition. You don't want to talk. You want to win. I know men like you. You know, folks, I think I'm going to stop by another time. Brad and I need to have a little chat. You know, Brad, the thing is, you're right. I am going to win. I don't need every last signature. I'm just waiting on my sworn affidavit. And the second I have that, every shithole in this town's gonna get bulldozed. I wouldn't be so sure. You know, Brad, I like you. We'll be in touch.
What are you doing, Chadwick? You gave us a week. Brad, what can I say? Patience isn't one of my better virtues. You can't take away from this community. You don't have the legal authority. No, you don't have the legal authority. I have a signed affidavit here saying this property belongs to me. Where are your signatures? Whatever happened to due process and a man's respectability? Where's your sense of decency? Now, Brad, you're not speaking my language. I tried to play nice with you folks. I tried to play ball. But it looks like you're going to need a little bit more incentive, actually. I think, just yeah, need to I think you just need to come over here. Because Brad and I have a little business to take care of. Think about what you're doing here, Charles. Is this really what you want to do? You know, I think it is. Okay, okay. You win. Just let her go. All right, well, folks, it was a pleasure doing business with you. I really appreciate it. Feel free to wander back. I don't know. Went to bed one night and woke up the next morning. It was all over the news. Uh, and it all happened so fast, huh? I just couldn't say for sure what happened. I don't know. I was sleeping. What do you believe happened to Mr. Chadwick? Your guess is as good as mine. Born in a coal mine in the Appalachian hillside, western Pennsylvania, north of the Dixie Line. Go kill Johnny, so that's what I...